Now, if you're a person who is not trying to dive deep into learning other web development languages because you're content with HTML and CSS, or let's be honest, <laughs> learning JavaScript and PHP is just too damn hard and time consuming, then you landed on the right video. Here I have five ways for you to leverage those beautiful markup and styling languages into a profit that's not embarrassing. Let's shift gears. world of WordPress, there are a ton of themes made through agencies and companies such as Elementor, Envato Themes, Theme Forest, etc. You're a sport for choice almost, but this could actually work against your rugged DIYers who do not have the expertise to decide what kind of theme is right for their business or even something as simple as a blog. That's where your eye for web design and CSS skills will come into the picture. WordPress themes are built on the back of PHP which produces the HTML when published online. However, the style and feel of WordPress themes rest on the strong arm of CSS. The good news for you is that if you are proficient in HTML and CSS, you can take any theme that you want and customize it to fit the needs of these do-gooder DIYers who more than likely have jacked up their site. And it's time for you to come in and do the cleanup work. You get to be the cleanup man. Sometimes you won't need to write any code if you are just using a CMS framework such as Elementor or Genesis themes where it's predominantly drag and drop. But knowing HTML and CSS will allow you to do more nuance and advanced changes to these themes that the average person just won't have access to. Now, for example, utilizing Google Chrome's developer tool to read the HTML tags and adjust CSS code will make you an elite expert in the eyes of many novices. And if you are highly proficient in JavaScript, then you have officially just entered God mode. Keep in mind that if you start a WordPress business, setting up websites for your clients, you can earn a recurring monthly or annual income through a hosting sites affiliate program. Get registered through an affiliate program by HostGator or Bluehost, for example, and sign your clients up through the affiliate link provided. I've done this for years when freelancing and building WordPress websites for my clients. Not only did I get paid up front, but I saw bonus income as I told them that if they are to work with me, then this is the hosting company that I use and sign my clients up with. Other perks they got with using my hosting company, for me it was just host, is that because I was super familiar with them and I could help troubleshoot, set up domains and other features at no extra cost. This guaranteed that they signed up with me and my hosting company without hesitation, which then equated to more affiliate dollars and cents. I made a dedicated video already breaking this down in terms of what skills you need in addition to HTML and CSS to fully take advantage of this position. However, it is worth mentioning here as well. Website management can require a base knowledge of HTML and CSS, but it's more dependent on other variables such as maintaining backend information. I'll give you an example. If a company has hired you to manage their e-commerce website, then you will be responsible for adding products, changing the information to those products, making sure the domain is renewed, etc. You are required to learn the CMS that the website is built upon in order to manage it smoothly. And I'll be honest, not everything runs on Shopify or WooCommerce. I worked at a company where their e-commerce store for stamps and signs was built on an online software specifically for the purpose of selling, you guessed it, signs and stamps. I had to learn this platform from scratch and my knowledge of HTML and CSS allowed me to have add advanced custom features that otherwise would not be able to be done had I not known those things. Also, when it came to troubleshooting, if there was something out of my league of skills, I was able to effectively communicate it to the software team who developed that e-commerce stamp shop. You can't expect that Weebly and Wix be your only content management systems you'll run into. So you need to make sure your skill set is transferable. If you learn HTML, CSS, and at least one content management system to become proficient, then you'll soon find that learning other CMSs are not that difficult to pick up and run with. Personally, I would suggest you start with WordPress and for e-commerce, WooCommerce. Now why? Because WordPress has this like steep learning curve, but it will train you and whip you into shape, making it easier to understand and adapt to other content management systems on the market. If you're interested in learning more, see the pinned comment below and access the link and watch the website management video that I did earlier. There are advocates and purists who swear by this free and open source internet. 
I'm all for that as well. However, we operate in a free market and there are times when the code you write solves a problem so unique and specific that it just can't be given away for free. That code written equates to a product on its own, whether it's a plugin or an add-on. Now, when creating these things, they usually require other languages such as JavaScript or Python to work effectively. But you can write HTML and CSS that creates a front-end effect to solve a problem for an already existing theme editor within a platform. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. In a video how to edit backgrounds in Vimeo OTT's themes, I expose an issue within Vimeo OTT's theme editor that doesn't allow its customers to edit every background on the section in the theme. In that video, I provide a CSS solution to quickly remedy that. Now, non-coders can plug in the CSS code I wrote in the video's description and change the color or image of the background themselves. While the video teaches people how to do this, I also offer an alternative to simply buy the code set where the HTML for all the Vimeo OTT themes is identified. And then changes to the CSS can easily be done without them writing a single line of code, but merely changing values within the code itself. In this solution, I'm holding the user's hand so there is no overthinking and DIY code debugging involved. If you're on a platform that you're becoming familiar with, simply learn what flaws exist and how you can remedy that problem through HTML and CSS. A quick search on CodePen and you can find a ton of creative projects where people are doing some funky things with just CSS and HTML such as making buttons disappear and then reappear. Or corners of pages folding down like a book whenever it's hovered over. Now the thing is, is that CodePen is meant for other developers, anybody else is just window shopping. This is where the opportunity exists for you. If you can find a market of DIYers who aren't coders but are website managers, then you can create animation sets that are easy for them to apply to the websites they manage without writing a line of code. What you will do is use CSS keyframes feature to create unique animations and bundle it up with how-to videos, a one-page guide that easily explains how the customer can simply copy and paste the code into their site without any hassles. I guarantee you that these people are not looking at CodePen to accomplish this. You're acting as a bridge, taking what you understand about styling and markup languages to deliver cool effects to the buyer who isn't development savvy to do this on their own. But once they get a hold of your bundle, they'll feel smart and creative. It's also a win with their clients who probably want a flashy website in the first place. Joe, aka Mr. Back at it again from Coding Phase, has talked extensively about how to become an email developer just knowing HTML and CSS. A quick Google search looking at some job requirements for companies advertising this position will show they want JavaScript experience, but in reality, that is not necessarily true. Other skills required is being able to prototype and rapidly visualize specific HTML templates. Take already Photoshop mockups and make them exist within the email using HTML and CSS and understand the fundamentals of said business you're working for and integrate their practices with the emails you are developing. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? I did some email development with my last company back in 2019 where I had to learn the sign and stamp business to create effective templates for the emails that need to be sent to their clients. These templates had to involve color schemes that reflect their business, but also played into the purchasing psychology of stamp and sign consumers. If you want to know more about email development, then check out Code and Phase on YouTube or Ivan Hurt, who specializes his channel on email development from how to start to just daily operations. Now, I think this is a fun addition because if you want to explore game design and development, then look no further than using HTML5 to accomplish this. Since the demise of Flash, HTML5 has become its successor in order for games to be played as natively as possible in any browser. However, it's going to take more than just HTML and CSS in order to pump out a game to the masses for players to enjoy. Now, to do this, you will need to learn JavaScript and HTML Canvas to create a game online. But the perks are great if you are successful at making a game that people want to play and a money machine for you. Now, I don't really like to encourage microtransactions, but the reality is that it's a reality. 
and it'll be unrealistic not to consider integrating in-game payments. Then again, there's always ads to add to the gaming experience. According to Mozilla Web Docs, some advantages to creating your own HTML5 game are making games that work across all devices, marketing your game over all media, and then having people play in real time without having to download an app, collecting your own analytics and allowing players to play anytime and anywhere. These five ways to make money with your HTML and CSS skills that will pay the bills if you apply yourself. Now there are other CSS projects that you can analyze and study to raise your game up but also help you get started with a career if seeking employment is your main focus. I made a video solely focused on curating some cool CSS projects for you to look at that will help you get hired. That video begins right here.